Hey YouTube, Planet Aquarium MN bringing you a quick video today. This was going to be a, an instructional video, a step-by-step -step on how to make a DIY CO2 reactor. However, about halfway through stopping and starting my camera many times and throughout the build process, I just simply decided to show you guys the final project of this DIY CO2 reactor and point you to the same location where I found the instructions and all the information that you need in order to build one of these CO2 reactors. Down here is my new CO2 reactor and this is called a Sergis or Sergeis C-E-R-G-E-S I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced but Sergis DIY CO2 reactor. It essentially uses one of these uh, home water purification filtration housing units and it's a very straightforward simple build you're gonna plumb this in line with your canister filter of choice this is my input here you have to put a T in your input and with that T there's going to be a nipple that your CO2 line is hooked up to don't forget your check valve CO2 is fed into the water flow goes into the water or the canister housing and it simply churns inside there there is a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe that is cut and fitted in there on the uh, the out, uh, the exit. That water is churned and forced up through that three quarter inch PVC and then back into your aquarium. The nice thing about this reactor is it's very effective, very efficient, very inexpensive. I'm getting 100% uh, dissolved CO2 in my water flow and uh, it allows me to dial down my bubble count. It also allows me to operate my uh, regulator, my CO2 regulator, at a much lower pressure than I had been before. Now what I replaced was one of these atomic diffusers, one of these little ceramic atomic diffusers. Now they work great, but they do create a lot of micro bubbles that really turns your aquarium into a 7-up type looking situation with a lot of bubbles floating around and whatnot. Now I still have a few bubbles floating in there, um, but nothing like it was. These also require, I believe it's either 30 or 35 pounds of working pressure. So you need to turn your regulator up quite a bit higher as far as working pressure. And I needed a little bit more, a uh, higher bubble count to turn my drop checkers lime green simply because these are less efficient than a reactor. So I was able to dial down my bubble count, dial down the working pressure, and really the only thing that requires any working pressure on this system now is my check valve, and that requires one PSI to operate. Otherwise, it's simply a straight flow from your CO2 regulator into that little T-junction into the system. Very effective, very uh, uh, efficient, and inexpensive. As far as cost goes, uh, I got all my parts and pieces from my local Menards and Home Depot and the total that I spent was less than $40. And um, that's about the same price as what I paid for this uh, Greenleaf Aquarium Atomic Diffuser. Now Greenleaf Aquarium makes great products and this is an awesome diffuser as far as diffusers go. But the one drawback to these, in, a, in, a, in addition to creating the micro bubbles and the higher operating pressure, they get dirty very quickly and about every 30 days I'd have to take this out give it an acid bath and clean it and put it back in and it's just it was another piece of equipment inside the tank the suction cups would come off from the glass it would be floating up towards the surface so I, I'd lose some CO2 that way they get dirty and clogged they'll start throwing out bigger bubbles you lose CO2 that way so just decided to finally go to a reactor. I'm glad I did. It's very easy to build. It took me probably less than an hour to actually construct and then the time to hook it up to the filtration system. So very simple. Check out the Planet Tank Forum if you're interested in building a reactor for your uh, Planet Aquarium. Check out the Planet Tank Forum. Do a search for Sergis or Sergeis, C-E-R-G-E-S, DIY CO2 reactor, and you're going to find some incredible threads there with uh, some step-by-step -step instructions, lots of pictures, and uh, a lot of great information on how to construct one of these reactors. So um, with that being said, uh, I appreciate everybody watching my videos. 
checking out my channel. If you have any questions, let me know. And like always, we'll catch you guys later.